morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day to be alive, and it's even better day to just keep continuing the rebuild on Grondo. I actually just washed the Audi, so we're just gonna we're just gonna take in how pretty she looks right now. Okay, that's it. What we're actually starting with in this video is we have to go pick up a part for Granda. Now, I took off the top of my intercooler to run the AC line that goes from the firewall to the other side of the AC compressor that I didn't have in there. I just didn't put it back in. So I had to put it back in because we are gonna be running AC now and I have to take the top mount off because it runs underneath it. So when I took off the top of my intercooler, my clutch master reservoir is underneath the intercooler because in or because forest or things that's in a, and the cap's gone. The twist on yellow cap for the reservoir is gone. And it was there the last time I put the intercooler back on. So I I am confused that it's why it's not there. So we're gonna go grab, my buddy Sam has one. We're going to pick up one from him right now. So we're gonna go grab that and that's what we're gonna start with. And then we'll just kind of get into it. Sweet, so we got the cap. Time to throw her on. Here we go. What? I'm stupid. You just quarter turn it and then it hooks on to the little tabs that are on the actual reservoir itself. I bet that's why it flew off. I bet I didn't, I bet I just screwed it on and was like, okay, that's good. And then I might've hit a bump and it flew off or something. So that's my guess. But now I'm pulling on it. She on there now. Now don't be mad at me. I actually did some work off camera on the car. Actually a lot of work off camera on the car. I just wanted a day without filming to just work on it without any interruptions or anything. And I actually really enjoyed it. It's the first time I've enjoyed it in a while. But I'll show you what we did. We have a mount made for the radiator. So now it's snug. I don't know what to do about this because it's sitting like this. See, goes up. So I can get that one in, but that one, it's too, I, it literally, I can't, it won't go down. This, the hood closes and the hood clears, I know that. So I think we're okay there, but that's on there good. I have fitted probably 90% of the body kit. I got the whole front end to fit on. I got the side skirts on and I'm not going around because I forgot to take them off before filming this. So the side skirts are on right now and I don't want to show you guys. The front end, we got fitted to the car fully. The side skirts, we got fitted to the car fully. I haven't fit the rear bumper stuff on yet because the rear bumper with the front end jacked up is super low already and I don't think I can fit them. And I also ran the other AC line that we didn't have in. So that's here and the AC compressor is on the way. All right, so next, something that I wanna do is I wanna drain the trans fluid. I have never flushed the trans fluid out of this car since I've owned it, even with the swap and everything. And I've noticed that recently when I was driving it kind of hard, that going into fifth, sometimes you could feel the gears kind of, not grind, but you could kind of feel them, if that makes sense. Like it wouldn't grind into fifth. It would just kind of, you could feel like the teeth barely and it would still slide in. And I think that's because the oil in there is a little old. And so what we have, if you own a Subaru five speed, you need this. You swap out your stock trans fluid for this stuff. Redline lightweight, lightweight shockproof. This stuff will save your trans. This stuff is so much better for the trans. They take like 3.8 quarts or something like that, I think. So you buy four quarts, you pretty much almost use all of it. So we're gonna drain the trans and throw some of this stuff in. All right, so he said he believes it's a 22 mil, but this is a 19. So we're gonna see how far off. Yeah, I think he's right. I have to go find a freaking bigger socket. All right, leave a comment now. Do you think I'm gonna make a mess or not? Nice. I guessed correctly. Sorry, that's sideways. I guessed correctly. That's some stringy. It doesn't look that bad. It actually got a decent color to it still. It's not all black and gross like I expected. We'll clean this off and wait for that to drain and throw the shock proof in. I'm actually really impressed with how good that trans fluid looks with how much I beat the piss out of this thing. You guys all should know how much I beat the piss out of this trans. This five-speed trans is holding on for dear life. I think the only reason it's holding on is because it's got blast plates. <laughs> We're gonna throw the drain plug back in because, uh, or maybe we should let it keep going, I don't know. We wanna get as much out of there as we can. I'm gonna let it keep going until it's like done done. Now be pull, before you put any of this in, you wanna shake it up real nice. And we're just gonna slow pour 
through the top and do this very slowly because I don't want to have to go get a pump. And it's a pretty blue color. Like bluish green. No, it's blue. It's a nice color. Because the car is all jacked up in the front end and not the back end, I'm only going to put like three and a half in. They're supposed to take 3.8 quarts, like I said, but I'm only going to put three and a half in because there's probably still a little bit of the old fluid in there. Because the car's jacked up weird, but this is bottle number two. Last one. Should grow up nice. I think I can do this one handed. I need to switch hands. This is not my pouring hand, man. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Almost lost it. There's no level line on this bottle. So I'm just gonna... All right, put a little more in. we're good i'm gonna call it good there i will obviously recheck the fluid when the car is back on the ground next up is going to be our cylinder four cooling mod as you know subaru has a reputation for their motors being garbage now this is what fixes part of that um you obviously have to know how to build one the right way in the first place however the cylinder four cooling mod is one of the most it's one of the best mods you can do to subaru to make it long lasting so what it does is you tap into the back of the head where the coolant jacket is. It's all the way down here. I'm not gonna be able to see it with the camera right now. And then you tap into the lower heater core hose right here, the one that has this sheath on it, this guy. And you basically, and you run this hose with a T fitting from the back of the head to that hose. And what it does is it creates an extra coolant flow around the head where cylinder four is at. And cylinder four is notorious for having issues running hot and whatnot because the unequal length headers. And what this does is it evens out the temperatures between the cylinders a lot better, makes the car run a lot safer. It makes the car run a lot cooler totally as well. If you own an EJ WRX or STI, you have to do this and make sure to get the one that has the metal T fitting. Some of them sell them with the plastic T fittings. Don't get the plastic ones. Make sure you get the metal T fitting. The specific kit that I bought is this one. Screenshot that if you want. It's on Rally Sport Direct as well. And you can use code Mr. Clean for 10% off. So, this is what I had in there before. This was just an aftermarket rubber, like, stop plug thing that I got from O'Reilly's because I couldn't find a stock head coolant plug that would fit. And let me see if I can show you. So, this is the side of the car that we're on, driver's side, down where the starter is. Go in between. There, can you see that hole, the threaded hole? It's on your, it's the top one, closest to the left, there's threads on it. Let's see if I can point to it. So I can show you guys this guy. I want the threads right here. That's the one that you're doing. And then you tee into this bottom hose right here. It has this cover on it. That's how you know which one it is because it has like a, like a cover on it. You tee into that one, and then it comes with hose clamps and everything, and you just tee into that, and then the hose runs down to the thing that threads into the block, which is this guy. Oh, which is this guy, and then you throw a little silicone RTV on the threads. Not a lot. You want to throw it down on the base of it, but throw a little bit on the threads. That when you thread it in, it'll seal itself, and then you're good. place to try and find a socket that'll fit over this so let's go see if they have what we need just need to paint the body kit and repaint a lot of the stuff on the car so i'm going to see if they have any of that too
And then I guess the instruction manual calls for, they don't give you a washer or like an O-ring or anything. They just said use gasket maker. And I have some of this ultra black oil resistant gasket maker. So I just, we're throwing some on the thread. I don't want to go too to the inside of the block because you don't want any of that to get inside the block. I think I might've done a little too much, but I think it'll be okay. You want to let this cure for normally 24 hours and this car still won't be running or driving for another few weeks. So I think this will be perfectly fine. Throw this all back together. That is what that looks like all the way done. Please focus. So there you have the fitting into the back of the head. It has the silicone on it. Hose clamp comes up to the T where we cut. All those got hose clamps on them. And it goes where the heater core box is. And that's it, we just gotta put the, I took the starter off to get a little bit more room, so we just gotta put the starter back on. Well, I almost screwed myself. I cut it. I cut the heater core hose too far this way. It needed to be more this way because of the starter. And I didn't realize that because I was doing all this with the starter out. So when I put the starter back in, that this T fitting was all the way over here. So I had to kind of force it, but there's no kinks. Everything's tight. You know, it's just touching the alternator which should be all right um but yeah no kinks or anything everything's tight i think um we'll be good with that now i am aware that none of this in this video was like actually fixing the car we were more upgrading the car in ways that it wasn't already broken and that's because i'm still waiting for the bag to show up i'm still waiting for the tires to show up i'm still waiting for the ac compressor to show up I'm still waiting for a lot of things to show up that actually fix the car and not just upgrade the car. These are all the things that I've been wanting to do to the car for a long time. And I've had parts laying around to put on the car for a long time. And because the car's down right now and we're waiting for parts to come in and the weather's finally nice, I figured that this would be part of the rebuild series where we're making the car 10 times better than it was before. Hopefully in the next video, we will have some real fixes and real progress the bag should be here soon the ac compressor should be here soon the tires should be here today actually yeah, they were supposed to be here today and they never showed up but we should have actual fixes happening very 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 soon so please stay tuned i love you all peace out